श्री कृष्ण चैतन्या प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधश श्री गौर भक्त वृंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्या प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधश श्री गौर भक्त वृंद हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगत पति गोपेश गोपी कांत राधा कांत नमो स्तुति तप्त कंचन गोरंगी राधे वृंदेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर हरे कृष्णा ज्योति Krishna, everyone. So we have Jyoti joining us actually. Uh, she has been reading Srimad Bhagavatam herself. Uh, she Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Jyoti. So Jyoti has already read the, <clears throat> you know, two cantos herself. Yeah. This is good. She is joining us in canto three, which is so nice. So hello, Ajay. Hare Krishna. Hello, Ajay. What happened to your hand? Oh. Oh, I, I, yeah, I do some platelet donation, so it's um, <clears throat> they take the blood out from one hand and put it back in your other hand. So I have both. <laughs> oh, wow. Ajay, awesome. Ajay, 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 Ajay. <laughs> so nice. Yeah. So nice. Thanks. And this is all after running marathon for so many times. <laughs> Every month, couple of times, marathon, and then all this. Wow. <laughs> so, awesome. Inspiring. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. All right. So it's so important to hear Srimad Bhagavatam. <clears throat> and last week, um, Shlok, I think we read this one, right? Um, yes. I yes. So we read the two shlokas before. So just a quick recap, what's going on is <clears throat> Shyamba Manu and Satrupa. Yeah, they arrived at Munish Ashram. And which Muni we are talking about here? Remember the name of the Muni? Yeah. Kardam Muni. Kardam Muni. Kardam Muni. Kardamuni did the tapasya for how many years? To recollect? 10,000 years. 10,000 years, yeah. Thank you, Anilji. Kardamuni did the tapasya for 10,000 years. Then Lord Vishnu gave him the darsha, right? And then, of course, Kardamuni described Lord Vishnu. And it is mentioned that the way Lord Vishnu gave a darsha, right, is like that's how Kardamuni wanted to see. So it was really interesting to see uh, the Swaroop of Lord Vishnu and giving darshan to Kardamuni. <clears throat> and after he gave darshan, Kardamuni did the prayers and Lord Vishnu told Kardamuni that I know what you want because Lord, Lord Brahma Lord Brahma had instructed Kardamuni right, to get married and, and expand the vanch. Yeah? So Kardamuni had to get married and Lord Vishnu told him that day after tomorrow Shambhu Manu with Satrupa will be coming to your place, yeah, to your hermitage with the daughter. And I don't know if you remember the name of the daughter of Shambhu Manu. 
इज देवहूति या सो श्याम मनु एंड शत्रुपा कम्स विद देवहूति एंड व्हेन दे एंटर द आश्रम ऑफ ऋषि दे आर प्रेइंग टू ऋषि राइट एंड वी सो द ऑल द प्रेज ऑफ ऋषि इन लास्ट टू श्लोक्स या एंड देन आफ्टर दैट दे सिट डाउन एंड ऋषि इज नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट श्याम मनु and what rishi kardha muni is saying about shambhu manu is that if you did not mount your victorious jewel chariot whose mere presence threatens culprits if you did not produce fierce sounds by twangling of your bow and if you did not roam around the world like brilliant sun leading a huge army whose trampling feet caused the globe of the earth to tremble and all the moral laws governing the varnas and ashrams created by the lord himself would be broken by the rocks and rascals what he is saying is basically he is describing how shambhu manu is ruling this yeah and how important it is to keep everything in tra- on track so we'll start with shlok 55 anil ji <clears throat> ji अधर्मश्च समेधेत लोलुपैवर्यकुशेर्नभ्रीष्टयाने त्यै लोकोयम दस्युग्रस्तो विनंक्षति इफ यू गेव अप ऑल थॉट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सिचुएशन अनराइचियसनेस वुड फ्लरिश फॉर मेन हु हैंकर ओनली आफ्टर मनी वुड बी अनअपोज सच मिसक्रियंट्स वुड अटैक and the world would perish hari krishna hari krishna yeah so kardha muni is essentially praising shambhu manu saying like it is so important to have the king like shambhu manu yeah uh, ajay athapi prachhe twam veer yadarth twam twami hagatah उटेशन right before that he tells like sham manu sham bhu manu is a great king can roam around and everyone you know um behaves but then he is saying like may i know the purpose why you have come here so kardha muni of course knows right but he is still asking like yat artham tva miha gata hai okay may i know the purpose why you are here and at the top he is saying that prati padya mahe ridha yani ki whatever your purpose is and whatever you want we shall carry it out without reservation yeah so rishi is essentially giving his words to uh, uh to shambhu manu oh yeah and thus this ends the bhakti vedanta purpose of the third canto 21st chapter of the shrimad bhagavatam entitled conversation between manu and kardam yeah so we saw the discussion between shambhu manu and the kardam muni so shrimad bhagavatam ki jai yeah. Yeah. So we completed twenty first yeah. chapter, yeah. and we are going to start the chapter twenty second, which is about the marriage of Kardha Muni and Devhuti. Yeah, Devhuti, daughter of Shambhu Manu and Satrupa. So let's continue reading, Rina Ji. Okay. Matre Uvaj. कृष्णा Yeah, if possible, you all can be on video. Then I can easily see, so I don't have to read the name. <laughs> if possible, it's okay. Otherwise, uh, <clears throat> so here, Metre watch, right? So Metre is talking to whom? 
Maitreya is speaking to Rishi Maitreya. Mm -hmm. Um, Mahatma Vidur. Yeah. <laughs> slowly recapping after the recap. <laughs> so Mahatma Vidur, as we know, at Ganga River, Maitreya Muni is talking to Mahatma Vidur. And Mahatma Vidur actually has asked this question that how Lord Brahma and along with Shambhu Manu expanded this universe. That's what Maitreya Muni is describing to Mahatma Vidur. And then this whole story about Lord Varaha came, if you remember, and then after Lord Varaha, yeah, about the Shambhu Manu and Karda Muni. So Maitreya Muni is saying is after Rishi said that, you know, <clears throat> there should be no reservation in whatever you want, and the Rishi became silent. And the emperor, feeling modesty, addressed him as follows. And who is the emperor we are talking about here? Maharaj. No, Shambhu Manu, right? That's what right? the Rishi spoke to Shambhu Manu, and now Shambhu Manu is speaking. Yeah, so that's what we are reading now. So it says here Manu Ruvache. Yeah, so Manu Shambhu Manu is now speaking. Sachin Manu Uvacha Brahma Sruj Brahma Srujara Srujatswa Ukato Vishman Atma. Paripasya Chando Maya Stop O Vidya Yoga Yukta Yuktana Lam Lampata Manu rep replied to expand himself in Vedic knowledge, Lord Brahma, the personified Veda, from his face created you, the Brahmanas, who are full of austerity, knowledge, and mystic power, and, an hour, and are ours to sense gratification. Very good. So what Manu is saying to Karda Muni is that Lord Brahma, who is personified Veda, yeah, it says Brahma, Srijat Mukto, from his face created the Brahmas. Yeah? And then Brahmas are supposed to be full of austerity, following a lot of rules and regulations and all that. And the knowledge and mystic power and ever's to sense gratification. Yeah, they have tap, vidya, and yoga. That's a true Brahman. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's read this purport. Uh, so, and Jyoti, would you read? Okay, sure. The purpose of the Vedas is to propagate the transcendental knowledge of the absolute truth. The Brahmanas were created from the month of the Supreme person, mouth of the Supreme Person, and therefore they are meant to spread the knowledge of the Vedas in order to spread the glories of the Lord. In Bhagavad Gita also, Lord Krishna says that all the Vedas are meant for understanding the Supreme Personality of Godhead. It is especially mentioned here, Yoga Yukta Alam Pathan, that Brahmanas are full of mystic power and are completely averse to sense gratification. Actually, there are two kinds of occupations. One occupation in the material world is sense gratification, and the other occupation is spiritual activity to satisfy the Lord by his glorification. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So, a couple of important facts mentioned here is, of course, as we all know, right? In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna himself is saying that all the Vedas are mean for understanding the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So all the four Vedas which we have, yeah, what's the name of all the four Vedas? Rigved, Samved, Atharved, Yajurved. Yajurved. Yeah, so those are the four Vedas. Then we have 18 Purans, and all the Vedas are meant for understanding the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Right? So that's one. And the second thing, what is being mentioned is that two things which we can do in this material world. One is the sense gratification, right? So as, as a <clears throat> living entity, yeah, in the material world, the sense gratification. The second occupation can be the spiritual activity. And the spiritual activity is essentially to satisfy the Lord by his glorification. Yeah. So let's continue reading this, Tarun. Those who engage in sense gratification are called demons. And those who spread the glorification of the Lord 
or satisfy the transcendental senses of the Lord are called demigods. It is specifically mentioned here that the Brahmanas are created from the face of the cosmic personality or Virat Purusha. Similarly, the Kshatriyas are said to be created from his arms. The Vaishyas are created from his waist. The Sudras are created from his legs. Brahmanas are specially meant for austerity, learning and knowledge and are averse to all kinds of sense gratification. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, yeah. So if you remember, you know, at some point in Canto 2, we read about the Virat Swarup of Lord Brahma and it was described like from uh, arms, Kshatriya uh, were created and the Vaishyas were created from his waist and the, uh, and the Shudras are created, which is a class and then it was mentioned like it is so fortunate Right? And so, but that's how they were created. And then every uh, creation has a meaning. Like they had some meaning of what to do, right? And Brahmins were created for austerity. Yeah? Supposed to be learning and knowledge. And then being ever to the sense gratification. The true Brahman, yeah? That's what is being described here. Uh, Ravi? Tatranaya Srajat Jachasmana Dosastra Stasasra Pataha Radeya Tasya Ibrahma Kshatra Manga Prachak Shate. For the protection of the Brahmins, the thousand lakh supreme being created as. The Kshatriya from his thousand arms, hence the Brahmins are said to be his heart and the Kshatriyas his arms. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. It says the Brahmins are said to be his heart. Yeah, the true Brahman. And that's why I say, and who is a true Brahman, right? We read about that. So not, not just because somebody is born, born in the Brahman family, right? The true Brahman is the true devotee of. Supreme Personality of Godhead, right? The Lord Sri Krishna. That's the true Brahman. And supposed to be Vidyam Tashyahi Brahma. Yeah? That is said to be his heart and the Kshatriyas are his arm. He says Kshatram Angam. Kshatriyas are his arm. And if you remember the Virat Swarup, thousand legs supreme being created us. Yeah? You know, there's those Sahastra Sahastra part. Yeah? So, yeah, this reminds us of the Virat Swarup description we had read uh, before. Yeah. Tarun? Atohiya Anyonyam Atmanamam Brahma Shastra Shastram Sar Rakshataha Rakshati Sumavyaho Devam Sar Yam Sat Satatmakaha this is why the Brahmanas and Kshatriyas protect each other as well as themselves and the Lord himself, who is both the cause and effect and is yet immutable, protects them through each other. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, it says Brahma, Kshatram, Cha, So that's how they protect each other. So actually this one is a nice purport. I think we should read. Um, Anilji? Yeah. The entire social structure of yeah, something in, in Bhagavad Gita? Uh, oh, sorry. In Bhagavad Gita, it is stated that the Lord is the proprietor of all different bodies. The individual soul is the proprietor of his individual body. But the Lord clearly states, my dear Bharat, you must know that I am also Kshatragna. Kshatragna means the knower or proprietor of the body. The individual soul is the proprietor of the individual body, but the super soul, the personality of God in Krishna, is the proprietor of all bodies everywhere. He is the proprietor not only of human bodies, but of birds, beasts, and all other entities. Not only on this planet, but on other planets also. He is the supreme proprietor. 
Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, yeah. So I think very interestingly mentioned very clearly that, right? So we think we are the proprietor, right? <laughs> the individual soul is the proprietor, proprietor of this body, yeah? That's our body. And, and you remember like we, we described uh, the stool sharir, suksham sharir and soul, yeah? Remember that, right? So stool sharir is his body. Then we have suksham sharir, which is, what is the suksham sharir composed of? What are the three elements of suksham sharir? Mind, ego, and knowledge. And intelligence, right? Intelligence. The mind, which is man, intelligence, which is buddhi, and the self ego, which is ahankar. Those are the three elements of suksham sharir. But any, and then we have soul. Now that soul is the proprietor of the suksham sharir and the stul sharir, right? For us, that we know. That is something we definitely know and experience, right? But then inside our soul, we are related to the super soul. And that super soul is the proprietor, ultimate proprietor of our soul. Yeah? And not just our soul, it says, if you, if you think about the Virat Swarup, the whole thing is within yeah, the Garbhodakshaya Vishnu. And which basically means that the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna is the proprietor of all bodies everywhere. Yeah, So very nicely explained. Make sense? So, <clears throat> so let's just read this. Okay. Uh, Ajay? Therefore, he does not become divided by protecting the different individual souls. He remains one, one and the same. That the sun appears on top of everyone's head when at the meridian does not imply that sun become divided. One man thinks that the sun is on his head only, whereas 5,000 miles away, another man is thinking that the sun is only on his head. Similarly, the super soul, the supreme personality of Godhead is one, but he appears to be individually or see each individual soul. This does not mean that the individual soul and the super soul are one. They are one in quality as, as a spirit soul, but the individual soul and the super soul are different. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so, so many important things are mentioned in this uh, paragraph, right? So one is the analogy, analogy of how the sun is on everyone's head, right? So, but, uh, so similarly, yeah, you see that even 5,000 miles away, another man thinks that the sun is on their head, right? But the sun is one on everyone. And that's how the super soul is one, but he appears to individually oversee each individual soul, yeah? So that's the first fact. And the second is, but that doesn't mean like a lot of people will say this, right? That the soul and super soul are one. And someday we were super soul and all that, right? But I think it's clearly mentioned and I think we experienced that, that individual soul and the super soul are different, right? The Atma and Paramatma are two different things. Yeah, the soul is part and parcel of the Supreme Soul but there are two different things, right? And but it is because it's part and parcel of super, super soul, they are one in quality, even though in a small part. So we have some small, small part of, or in a small quantity of all the characteristics of the supreme soul. That's why we have the independent thinking and so on and so forth, right? But the important part is the individual soul and the super soul are two different things. We should realize that, right? So soul and the super soul. And Jyoti? Tava sandarshana devu chana me sarva samshayaha it swayam bhagavan pritya dharma maha rilikshit shoha. Yeah, now I have resolved all my doubts simply by meeting you for your lordship has very kindly and clearly explained the duty of a king who desires to protect his subjects. 
So this is being spoken by Shambhu Manu. Yeah. So Shambhu Manu is telling Kardamuni that I have resolved all my doubts because your Lordship has kindly explained the duty of a king. Right. If you remember the previous shlokas, that's what Kardamuni was mentioning. Yeah. It says Dharam Maharishi So how to protect the subjects in in one one's kingdom is what Kardamuni explained to Shambhu Manu. It is my good fortune that I have been able to see you, for you cannot easily be seen by persons who have not subdued the mind or controlled the senses. I am all the more fortunate to have touched with my head the blessed dust of your feet. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. All right. So now, Shambhu Manu, who is ruling, as as we saw, right, his sons, uh, Priyavrat and Tanpad, right, Tanpad. If you remember, his sons are ruling the whole Prithvi, which has seven Mahadvips. Yeah, as we read, he is saying this to Kardamuni. That it's my good fortune and net that I've been able to see you. Yeah, it says distraya me Bhagwan Rishto because to see those Rishi Munis like he did tapasya, like Rishi who has done tapasya for ten thousand years, who himself has seen Lord Vishnu face to face. What a good fortune! Fortune, even though he is the big, biggest king, right? Shambhu Manu, he himself is saying that it's a good fortune, fortunate, fortune that he has been able to see Kardam Muni. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> not only that, he says here, this tria pad rajahe, like rajahe of his feet, says, my fortunate to have touched with my head the blessed dust of your feet. So that's the humbleness of the kingdom of those times, right? And that's the kind of Rishi Muni uh, which used to be there. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Right. Let's just uh, read this clip, uh, Tarun. The perfection of transcendental life can be achieved <coughs> simply by touching the holy dust of the lotus feet of a holy man. <coughs> In the Bhagavatam, it is said, Mahat Pada Rajo Bhikshayam, which means to be blessed by the holy dust of the lotus feet of a Mahat a great devotee. As stated in Bhagavad Gita, Mahatmanas too. Those who are great souls are under the spell of spiritual energy and their symptom is that they fully engage in Krishna consciousness for the service of the Lord. Therefore, they are called Mahat. Unless one is fortunate enough to have the dust of the lotus feet of a Mahatma on one's head, there is no possibility of perfection in spiritual life. Hare Krishna. So the important part mentioned is that you know the people who are totally engaged in Krishna consciousness, right? And it's so fortunate to have the dust of their lotus feet of a Mahatma on one's head, because that's what also helps in perfecting the spiritual life. Yeah. Sachin. Dishtaya Vaya Nushishto Aham Kutascha Anugraha Mahan Apa Vrutte Karanaran Therjushta Dishtyo Shatir Giraha. I have fortunately been instructed by you, and thus great favor has been bestowed upon me. I thank God that I have listened with open ears to your pure words. Hare Krishna. Krishna. And who is saying this? Who is talking right now? It's Shambhu Manu. Shambhu Manu, yeah. And telling this to? Kardamuni. Kardamuni, yeah. So Shambhu Manu is telling this to Kardamuni that good that I listened with open ears to your pure words. 
Yeah, because when a Mahatma is speaking, it's all pure. Yeah. Ajay? So, Bhavandi, Bhavandi, Hite, Sneha, Parik, Pariklist, Manon, Mama, Shotu, Maharsi, Dinas, Shravitam, Kripaya, Mune. O oh, great sage, graciously be pleased to listen to the prayers of my humble self, for my mind is troubled by affection for my daughter. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, after telling Rishi what Sri Ambu Manu is saying is that I have great affection for my daughter, Devuti, and then he's uh, asking uh, Rishi to listen to him about that. Yeah. So, uh, Anilji? Yeah. Priya Pratotan Padoha Swaseyam Duita Mama Anichati Patim Yuktam Baya Shila Gunadi Bihi. My daughter is the sister of Priya Prata and Uttanapad. She is seeking a suitable husband in terms of age, character, and good qualities. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so I think uh, we'll continue reading this tomorrow. Here, uh, Shambhu Manu uh, talks about his daughter, uh, Devuti. Yeah, and we'll read about this tomorrow. We only have one minute, so we are going to hear the kirtan and then we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.